Hey guys, this is Delratch. A lot of people have been asking me about Harley Quinn, so I am going to do a brief guide to bring everyone up to speed. I'm not going to cover everything, but I will be going through some of Harley's most useful tactics. Now, for reference, I am going to be referring to each move using the 1, 2, 3 number system, with 1 being light attack, 2 being medium attack, and 3 being heavy attack. So now that we got that out of the way, we can look at Harley's standing attacks. Now, Harley's standing one is a 6 frame jab, and it's plus 5 on block. It's an extremely good attack. This is Harley's fastest normal, so this is what you'll be using to punish things that require 6 frames. This won't be your go-to punish, though. So while it does seem like this attack is a little bit too good to be true, it hits high. So while it's extremely fast, all the opponent has to do is duck, and it's going to whiff. Once the opponent sees that whiff, you're not going to be happy Harley. Harley's next attack is her standing 2. Now, this is a 15 frame mid, and it's plus 1 on block. This attack hits standing or ducking opponents, and it has pretty decent range as you can see. Harley moves forward a little bit, and compared to her standing 1, which doesn't move her anywhere at all, this is pretty good. It hits at about sweep distance, a little bit closer. So the good thing about this attack is that it leads into three different strings. So you have two down three, which is a mid-low mix-up and causes an untackable knockdown. Then you have two back three, which is a mid-mid-low mix-up. And then you have two up three, which is Harley's launcher. Now you're going to see this used in tons of combos, and the good thing about it is that it's special cancelable. Now her two back three is actually special cancelable as well. You can do two back three into anything as long as it's before the last kick. Alright, so Harley's next attack is her back two. Now this move is probably one of her best normals. It's a 12 frame low, and it's safe on block. It's only minus one and it pretty much covers sweep distance. So it's a tiny bit closer, but if you're one step away from the starting position of a match, you can actually land a back two. That's the farthest it reaches. Now, the cool thing about this attack is, you know, you're playing grounded footsies game with somebody, you can quickly check them with a back two to see if they're blocking low or not. So once you land that, you can actually go into a string, which is back two two, once you see that hits, you can go into a special attack. In this case, I went for Tantrum, and I landed a full combo. Harley's forward 2 is a 27 frame overhead, and it's plus 3 on block. Now, this attack is a little bit slow compared to some overheads in the game, but it's still very, very good. This attack covers roughly the same distance as her back 2, so as you can see, she moves forward just a little bit. It's a lot like her standing 2 in that regard, actually. Now, when up close, this will be Harley's primary way to open up her opponent. You'll mix them up either with a back two, check if they're blocking low, or you'll mix it up with a forward two to check if they're blocking high. Now, since both of these attacks are special cancelable, you can do pretty much any combo that you want. You can do a forward two into tantrum stance, into cartwheel, into anything. And it's the exact same way with a back two two. So this can lead to some major major damage which is pretty damn awesome. Harley's down one is seven frames and it's neutral on block. It's a mid and outside of anything that requires six frames this will be your go-to attack for punishing if you're within range. So what you would do is a down one and then you would cancel into tantrum stance and then you would do a full combo. Next up is Harley's down two. This attack has a 10 frame startup, so it is pretty fast. It's uh, like all down twos in this game, it has crazy amounts of damage scaling, so it's not exactly something that you can do for any major damage. Uh, it also is full combo punishable on block, so you can't just throw it out. Now, this attack isn't exactly the best, but it is a somewhat reliable anti air. It really is matchup dependent. So you can see here, I have arrow set to do a jumping three. And if I time it right, I can do an anti-air. Now the problem is, everybody can time their jump attacks differently. So there is a timing where Harley's down two will get beat. And you can already see here, it's pretty inconsistent as an anti-air as it is. 
So let's move on to jumping attacks. All of Harley's jumping attacks are pretty damn good. Harley's jump one is useful for preemptive anti-airs. It's also good for crossing up opponents. So you'll see right here, you can have some pretty ambiguous setups. Now the same thing goes for Harley's jump two. And it might actually be one of her best attacks. Now the jump two covers a great range. It has a sizable hitbox. It's pretty much all of her legs. And it's great for anti-airs, especially if used preemptively. So instead of a down two, I would just do a jump two. And for almost most situations, unless the opponent is absolutely looking for a jump two, you can beat them in the air, which is quite awesome. And then you can go into a full combo, and then you can have an awesome time. In this game, after a jump attack, you don't actually have crazy amounts of frames, unless it's absolutely deep. So what can happen is the opponent, in between your jump attack, after it's blocked, they can poke out. So one thing I like to do is if I anticipate a poke, what I would do is a neutral jump too. And then I would blow them up with a full combo. It's extremely useful, and it trains people to not poke that often. Obviously, if the opponent thinks that you're doing this, or times it absolutely perfect, you can get hit out, but it's still extremely good to do. Now, Harley's Jump 2 is also extremely good for cross-ups. It's probably going to be your main way for crossing up the opponent. So as you can see, it's about sweep distance, and you can get a pretty juicy cross-up here. Let's say you knock the opponent down, you could dash up really quick, and then do a cross-up that they probably won't block. Or you can knock them down, you can do a neutral jump, that also works. Alright, now that we got some of Harley's normals out of the way, let's move on to her strings. Harley's 1-1-2 is extremely good. It launches the opponent into the air on hit, and then you can go into a combo. What I like to do is 1-1-2 into Tantrum Cartwheel then I'll create an ambiguous cross-up situation. Now on block, this attack is plus nine, which is ridiculously good. So what you can do is you can jump in, you can put them in another ambiguous situation, you could either make them block high, you can make them block low. It's all up to you at that point. Now one thing I like to do, which is guaranteed, is one one two into a back two. So what happens is, the opponent, if they try to jump away, they can't, they'll get hit by the back 2-2, two -two, and then you get a full combo. It's ridiculously good. Now, Harley's forward 1-3 is an interesting string. So it starts off high, and then goes into an overhead. On hit, it staggers the opponent, and then you get a free mix-up. You could either do a overhead, or you can do her low. So Harley gets to play her game. Yeah, it's extremely fun. Now, the bad thing about this is the frame data says this is plus two on block. That's actually not true, and I'll show you right now. Lex's core charge is a six frame attack, and on block, it can blow it up. Oop, let me set a Lex Luthor to block over here. And as you can see, I was blocking right away, and I'm still getting hit by the core charge. This move is definitely not plus two, it's punishable by six frame attacks. As mentioned earlier, Harley's two down three is another good string. It's mostly used for pressure situations. It's advantage on block. It's extremely good. You can use it for an untackable knockdown. You can create cross-up situations with it. Uh, it's really up to you what you want to do. Now, Harley's two up three is also extremely useful. And once we start going to combos, I'll get more into that. And now we move on to Harley's back 2-2. Two, two. Now, this is a really interesting move, because on hit, obviously you see two hits, it's back 2-2. Two, two. But on block, the back 2-2 two, two doesn't actually fully come out. You only get the back 2. So what this means is that you can do a back 2-2 two, two into tantrum stance, and obviously you'll get the combo. But if the opponent's blocking, nothing will happen. Basically, you don't have to worry about hit confirming anything. You just dial in the entire combo, and it'll either come out or it won't. Alright, so moving on to Harley's special attacks. She's a zoning character, kind of. So her basic projectile, down forward one, is her line of fire. And it's relatively decent startup. It's not exactly super fast, but it's pretty okay. 
Um, it hits high, and it's plus three on block. So it's not exactly the best of attacks. It's more of a pesky, get away from me kind of attack. Other characters do have better zoning. Her EX version does an additional gunshot. Now, this attack, not really that useful unless you absolutely need the 9% damage, although it can catch people off guard. So if somebody's ducking and then they try to move, you can throw out the EX version and they might get hit. Again, it's not the best damage, but it is useful at times. Now, her next attack is the Heads Up, and that is Down Back 1. This attack is an anti-air, but it has very slow startup, so by the time you actually do try to anti-air somebody, you're going to get hit. Now, it's only good from a kind of a far range, maybe mid-screen, and it's good if you think your opponent's going to jump. Now, the recovery is decent. You can see after she shoots it out, she almost recovers immediately, but you can't just throw it out because you can get blown up. Now, the EX version does an additional gunshot, so it's not exactly the best, but you can follow up if you're in the corner. So it's not that bad. It's not exactly that good either. Now Harley's Oopsie Daisy is a jumping projectile that hits overhead. It does just a small amount of damage, only 4%, nothing major. Um, it's punishable on block, so somebody like Deathstroke for instance, if you set him into reversal mode, oops, sorry, set him to reversal, he can actually do his sword spin and punish it. He could probably do anything, really. So this isn't a move that you can just throw out there, although from max range, it does seem relatively safe. So Harley's next attack is her Cupcake Bomb. It's back 4-2, and she'll throw a cupcake at a, an arc. And the good thing about this attack is it has somewhat decent startup. It's a pretty good anti-air. It's actually more reliable to use than her anti-air gunshot, and it hits overhead. Now, the move has terrible recovery, but it's still pretty decent to use. Now, this is a good move for keeping people in check from a distance. So, you can, if they're blocking low, you can throw that cupcake, and if you get them trained well enough, you can do a quick slide into Tantrum, and that'll be your mix-up game right there. Or, you can do a slide, you can do a jump back gunshot, which is overhead. So there are several different types of mix-ups that you can do. Uh, Harley's EX Cupcake should throw three of them, and you'll notice that the opponent bounces up in the air. So this happens even if they jump. And then you can land just maybe a decent gunshot. If you're in the corner, you can actually do a combo, which is pretty useful. Um, another thing that's good is that on block... Let me set the training dummy... To block over here. If the opponent blocks all three cupcakes, they have to take one additional chip damage from your gun. It's guaranteed. It's not the best, but it is good to know. Harley's next attack is her command grab. It's called Play Doctor. It's a down back forward one motion. Now, this command grab, even though it does count as a throw, is duckable. So all the opponent has to do is duck, and then it'll whiff, and then she can get punished. Now, this attack is most useful in combo situations, because when the opponent is juggled, it will re-stand them. And during that situation, they are neutral, so it's not like Harley has any advantage, but in the corner, it's actually quite good, because you can possibly still apply some pressure and a mix-up game afterwards, since you're literally right next to each other. Now, the EX version of Play Doctor does 10% additional damage, and it's all unscaled damage, and it deals the damage over time. So it's pretty useful. Now, Harley's Play Doctor it actually does have some invincibility frames. So I can set Harley on knockdown. And as you can see, if done as a wake-up attack, she will go through some of Deathstroke's bullets. Harley's next attack is her pop pop gun. It's a down back two, and this attack is chargeable, and it can be dashed out of. Now, it has really slow startup, as you can see, and it has terrible recovery after it's launched. Now, normally this attack is considered a mid, but it can go into an overhead if you charge it for three seconds. Now, if you fully charge the attack, it will fire an unblockable gunshot. Now, the thing is, this gun 
if you charge it too many times, it can actually shoot out a dud. And in that case, you're pretty much screwed if that happens. Now, the EX version of this move is extremely good because it cancels the recovery time of the gunshot. On hit, that gunshot, you can actually follow up with a combo, which is extremely useful. Even from this range right here, you can do a silly slide into a tantrum stance. One thing I like to do is to use the pop pop gun to blow up wake up attacks. So for Destro players, they love using that wake up spin sword, and the pop pop actually beats that since there's no invincibility frames. Then you get a full combo punish. Now, there are attacks with full frames of invincibility, so you're going to have to go through an individual basis to figure out what strategy works for you. So for example, Killer Frost, her slide, it's fully invincible, but you can cancel your recovery frames and you can do a quick jump too and get a full combo punish to trick the opponent. Next up we have Harley Quinn's Tantrum Stance. This is probably her best special attack that she has. This is her down back three. And this special attack leads into three other attacks. And one of them is a cartwheel. So that cartwheel launches the opponent into the air and then Harley Quinn can do a full combo afterwards. Harley Quinn's Tantrum Stance 2 knocks the opponent onto the ground with another low attack. And Harley Quinn's Tantrum Stance 3 will fire barrage of bullets into the opponent. All three options are unsafe on block, but her safest one is her cartwheel, oddly enough, even though that leads to a full combo. Now, the frame data says that it's minus 16 on block. This is not true. It actually is only minus 6 on block. So it can get full combo punished by some characters in the game, but not all. So, for instance, Lex Luthor, he can do his core charge to punish it. Other characters, like Ares, can actually full combo punish it. Now one thing I would do is go through every character in the roster and see which ones don't have a 6 frame attack. If they don't have it, then you can use the cartwheel for free without any worries. But if they do have a 6 frame attack, you have to be cautious because if they block it, then they can full combo punish you. Now the great thing about Harley Quinn's tantrum stance is that it pretty much has full invincibility frames on wake up. So even against somebody like Deathstroke with multi-hitting projectiles, she can go through all of them and then go into a full combo punish. Now Harley's next attack is her silly slide. This is a back forward 3 attack. Now this attack does no damage, it has relatively slow startup, and it has terrible recovery as you can see. During that whole animation, she can't do anything. So in the case of zoners, she can just get hit by Deathstroke's gun at any time. Um, what makes this attack useful is that it can be cancelled into her tantrum stance or into her super. So mid-animation, you can just cancel it into either option. Now this does make it good for mix-ups. And if used correctly, you can actually pressure the opponent in various ways. Now, just like her play doctor, the silly slide on wake up does have some invincibility frames. But again, it's not exactly the most useful, although by the time the invincibility is over, you should be able to cancel into an attack. So one aspect of the game that's going to become quite important later on is unclashable damage. And Harley has three different strings that all do unclashable damage. Her 4-2-2, her Beck 2-2, and her 4-2-3. Now, the big difference here is that Harley's 4-2-3 can actually be meter burn cancelled for two bars into a back three into another back three. And that does a whopping 28% unclashable damage. It's actually around 40 if you use a transition. Now if you want a meterless combo, you can do 4-2-3 into a silly slide into back 2-2. Two, two. That alone does 21%, or as you see here I'll go into super, and that does a whopping 45% damage. So the rest of this video is just going to be showing some random combos. It's not meant to be a combo video, but it's more meant to show some practical combos, a lot of combos that I actually use in matches. 
they're not fully optimized. I know they can be better. I've seen better combos already online, but this is what I use. And I tend to use ones that I know I can actually do in a match. I don't like to waste meter too much, so I'll usually use just one bar. And I like to end in play doctor. I don't like to give people wake up situations since wake up attacks have that invulnerability. I rather be in a reset situation and attempt to apply some pressure. Well, I hope this video helped you guys out. I know Harley's a bit of a complex character, she's a little bit difficult to use, but once you start to get the hang of her, she's extremely fun to play. Definitely my favorite. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask.